Now you hit on one. And as soon as I saw this written out, I was like, okay, now, now we're going to spar. We're going to spar a little bit. Uh, cause I, I kind of like having a little bit extra muscle on my body. Uh-huh. And so there's this concept called mTOR mm. and it's complex. It's a, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's a very complex, uh, set of rules, but it's basically how we build muscle with mTOR. Mm. And so, but, and there's, so there's a, there's a little disconnect in my head. I got to get through is being more, having more muscle mass and being stronger, particularly as measured in grip strength has been shown to help with your mortality. However, having too much mTOR, which is part of the process for getting protein to turn into muscle can also be problematic. Can you dive a little bit into mTOR and help me put that together? Yeah, no, absolutely. So mTOR is an enzyme recognized as a major driving of driver of aging, perhaps more so than any other single anti-aging strategy, mTOR inhibition, suppression, disrupts a panoply of degenerative processes, explaining why the mTOR blocking drug rapamycin is the most effective drug ever devised for targeted aging. Um, no other drug's been able to show. Um, it works in every single species, even starting in middle age. Um, but the problem is the drug has some downsides. Um, so then we turn to non-pharmacological approaches. How are we going to slow this kind of a pacemaker of aging enzyme? And we do that through the restriction of certain amino acids, such as methionine and leucine. Um, and how do we restrict those? Well, you can do full dietary restriction and you just, you're going to decrease your amino acid intake or, um, you can eat the same number of calories, but just reduce overall protein intake and that'll cut down. Or you can keep the protein intake the same, but just switch from animal sources to plant sources, most of which tend to be lower in methionine and the branch chain amino acids like leucine. Um, and, uh, and there's kind of a, a, a yin yang with AMPK. So anything that boosts AMPK can drop mTOR like the barberries and the vinegar and all the stuff I go through in the AMPK chapter. And then it's really about re- reducing one's protein intake down to recommended levels, which is 0.8 grams per healthy kilogram body weight. Um, which translates to about 45 grams a day for the average height woman, 55 grams for the average height man, and then choosing plant-based sources whenever possible. Uh, now, as you noted, mTOR plays a role in muscle protein synthesis. So the question is, well, wait a second, do we have this kind of you know balancing act between aging and muscle mass? Thankfully, no. All we need is sufficient levels of mTOR activity um, to build muscle mass um, without uh, excess levels. How do we do that? Again, recommended dietary protein t- intake. Over age 65, there's actually no benefit from adding protein in terms of muscle mass, muscle strength, or muscle performance. How are we going to maintain muscle mass into old age? One way and one way only. Well, there's actually a bunch of things that contribute, but the most important one is resistance training, right? Strength training. That is how we're going to keep our muscles um, particularly if you're doing something like caloric restriction or something critically important to maintain muscle mass. And we do that through exertion, um, uh, putting strain on our muscles um, and adding extra protein um, uh, in older age does not um, add that, add um, extra muscle mass. That's whether you're sarcopenic, you have excessive muscle mass, whether you're frail, et cetera, excess protein does not help at those ages.